Hi guys. <laughs> uh, how you been? Um, now, um, this video is um, not going to be a, a movie review. It's not going to be, um, you know, anything um, important, but something that I just wanted to mention. Um, I kind of wanted to mention um, why I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of wanted to mention why I love talking about movies so much and why I kind of have this obsession for John F. Kennedy. I just wanted to mention those things to you. Um, firstly, why I love talking about movies. Um, I can honestly give you so many reasons why. Um, you know, obviously like many people, I've been watching movies for as long as I can remember and, you know, always love them. I've always been in big action, sci-fi, um, mystery kind of movie fan. I've never liked romances, like, at all. Um, but there are some romances out there that are good, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just love movies for as long as I can remember. Like, at the youngest ages, I remember seeing some of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. And them becoming my favorite movies, like, um, uh, like Star Wars, for example. I've loved Star Wars my entire life. And, yes, that, that does include, that does include the prequels, okay? I love all six Star Wars movies, okay? I don't care what people say. I love all six. My favorite is episode three, okay? Because that tied all six movies together perfectly, as far as the story goes. All the little connections are made. Um, and also other movies such as Willy Wonka or Batman or, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. I've loved those movies for as long as I can remember. And I still do to this very day. I never grow tired of watching them, never. And the reason I love movies so much is because, to me, they're sort of like an experience, you know. Because, you know, when movies were first started being made in the late 1800s, the whole idea was to escape from reality for like a couple hours for people, you know, just to escape the everyday boredoms and grind of life and enjoy the experience of, you know, visual entertainment. God, where did I think of that? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really what movies are to me. Um, basically a fun time and experience, even though I do take watching movies a little bit more seriously than the average person does. I mean, I mean, for the longest time I used to watch movies, you know, just for the heck of it. But now I like to focus on them and watch certain types of movies, break down movies and analyze them, pick out what makes them good, you know, what stands out in movies, you know. Because like I said, I want to be in the filmmaking business someday. Um, but, you know, that's obviously going to take me a while. I mean, you know, I don't know everything about filmmaking. Not everything, no, just, you know. The basics. Um, yeah, that's pretty much why I love movies so much. Um, now, uh, number two, why I have an obsession for John F. Kennedy. That's mainly because I know a lot about him. Um, and to me, he was probably one of the best presidents we've ever had, other than, say, Lincoln. Because Kennedy was pretty much one of the most legendary presidents we had. Now, the reason I use the word legendary is because when he was alive, so many people viewed him as sort of like this mythical figure. Like, people thought of him as a prince. Like, because he was the youngest president we've ever had, he took office at the age of 43, died when he was 46. Um, and, you know, he was president for 1,000 days, three and a half years, to be exact. And in that time, he changed America so much, and a lot of his policies and ideas really affected of how America works today. You know, like, one of his biggest goals when he was president was to put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s. And that did happen, except he didn't live to see it. Um, yeah, man landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969, uh, with Apollo 11. Um, you know, 
some people say that didn't really happen, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, another thing that really fascinates me about Kennedy is the fact that his death has remained a mystery to this very day. It, yes, he was assassinated, but the question is, by who? I mean, obviously, the official government theory is that it was Lee Harvey Oswald and he acted alone, but I personally think there was way more to that. Now, do I believe in, that there was a conspiracy to kill him? Kind of, yeah, because of how much research I've done, and some of the some of the things that I found out about the assassination, like the facts that were never presented, eyewitnesses that were never called to testify, all the additional information that has been kept locked away, you know, it's just insane. And the fact that that happened 51 years ago, but people are still talking about it, you know, it's... And it hasn't been solved. That's what drives me insane. We as the American people have a right to know what happened on that day. But there's no way to find out the truth. You know, that's what sucks. Because all the documents, all the evidence has been locked away for so many years. It's either been locked away by the government, destroyed, or lost over 51 years. One century is how long ago that happened. And the fact that the mystery is still not solved, that drives me crazy. Um, but I've been doing a lot of research about it, and I'm not going to tell you my conclusion yet, because I still need to do more. But anyway, yeah, why I love John Kennedy is because he was such an interesting figure, and probably one of the most interesting presidents we've had, because he truly wanted to do what was right. Okay, even though some people criticized him for being so young and inexperienced when he uh, became president, Okay, he had a fair amount of experience. Okay, let me tell you about his experiences before he became president. Okay, he was a World War II hero. Okay, um, congressman, senator, and an author. Okay, now the reason he was a World War II hero was because, okay, he was in the United States Navy. Okay, and his ship was blown up by a Japanese destroyer. He saved half of his crew. It rescued them, swam them to a remote island, and then he eventually got saved. And he actually won the medal for heroism for that. Um, and he's written a couple books, too. I don't know if many of you know that. Um, and the fact that, you know, him and his wife, Jackie, were looked upon as kind of America's royal family, in a way. Because they were so young and elegant. I mean... Jackie, you know, she was the only first lady that brought, you know, elegance and grace to the White House, you know. Style, I guess you could say. And I honestly think that there's been no other first family like the Kennedys. Or a family in American history that is as significant as they are, because the Kennedy family was so dynamic. And, yes, they had a lot of secrets. But everybody has secrets, you know? Everybody has flaws. And they were relatable in a lot of ways. Even though, you know, they were extremely rich, but still. <sighs> oh my god, I'm making this video eight minutes, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah. I just wanted to explain why I love movies and John F. Kennedy. Um, so hopefully this will kind of, like, clarify why I do these videos. Um... Actually, I've been kind of thinking maybe I should just quit YouTube because, you know, I've not been getting a lot of views. But I don't know. Like I said, you know, I'm sorry I don't do a lot of videos. It's just that, you know, I can rarely find the time. I'm, uh, I'm more active on Facebook. I really am more active on Facebook, so. Um, anything else I want to say? No. Okay, uh, bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>